Hey guys, what's up? Today we're looking at solving a differential equation using separation of variables. It's a pretty straightforward method. The method really just has a couple of steps. The steps are separate the variables, put the x on one side, put the y on the other side. Then you're going to integrate both sides with respect to the variable that's on that side. So on the x side we'll integrate with respect to x, on the y side we integrate with respect to y. Um, then the next step is don't forget the plus C. When you do the integration, you're going to need a plus C either on the left or the right. It doesn't matter where you put it, but you just need a plus C on one of the sides. The next step, actually 4 and 5 are kind of interchangeable depending on which is easier to do first. To usually solving for the constant is a little easier to do before you solve for Y, but 4 and 5 can be interchanged. Um, but yeah, the next step is to solve for y as a function of x and then solve for the constant of integration or the constant using the initial condition. Here we don't have initial conditions, so we don't have to worry about step 5. But if we did have a constant or an initial condition, we could solve for our constant of integration. So let's try to go through these steps here. Let's separate the variables first. So the solution here, we're going to separate the variables. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to first start by saying like dy dx is equal to negative 2xy squared. All right, so that's the first step. And now what we can do is multiply by dx over here and divide by y squared. So we can get dy over y squared equals negative 2x dx. All right, so we've got our variables separated. Step one, check. Now, integrate both sides. So on the left, I need to integrate with respect to y. On the right, I need to integrate with respect to x. So on the left, that'll give me negative 1 over y. On the right, that's going to give me negative x squared plus c. And actually, well, I'll just leave it that way, plus c. Now, what I'm going to do is multiply through by a negative 1. So I've got both sides and I've got my plus C. Now, first thing I'm going to do is multiply through by a negative 1. I'm going to say 1 over Y is equal to X squared minus C. But actually, because C is a constant, I can just recall it a different constant, like C2 or something like that. But it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to say plus C2. And actually, because it's a constant, it doesn't matter what I call it, so I can just call it C again. It's really a trick that we use a lot to get rid of negative signs. We just say we're going to absorb that negative sign into the constant. Also, we could have multiplied this by a number, and it would still be a constant. So we can just call it plus C regardless of what, what we do to it. So if we multiply by negative 1 or if we multiply it by a 3, it's still just a C. Technically, it would be like a 3C, but it's still just a constant, so we just... We just keep it as a C. It doesn't matter what it's called until we solve for it using our initial condition, which we don't have here. But it will be a constant regardless of what we do to it before we get to the initial condition. So now we're going to solve for Y by taking the reciprocal. So Y is equal to 1 over, and we say X squared plus C. And now We have our solution. If we had initial condition, we could plug in and try to solve for C, which actually, in this case, it would have been easier to do the initial condition right here before we took the reciprocal because solving for C, I would just plug in whatever X value I have and whatever Y value I have, and I would get C directly. And then I would just put that right here. So we solved for Y. We don't even need to do this last part for this problem. So. This is our solution, y equals 1 over x squared plus c.